Great morning, scholars. This is Mr. Amos, Ms. King, Ms. Parker, Ms. Rogers, and Ms. George Williams with the morning announcements for the week of January 25th through the 29th. The mission of Harvey Hudson STEAM Academy is to produce world changers by providing innovative learning opportunities to include parental and community partnerships through science, technology, engineering, arts, and math in a safe, nurturing environment. Good morning, scholars. This is Ms. King with the R.B. Hudson Vision Statement. The vision of R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy is to develop scholars' critical thinking skills through rigorous and relevant content in order to maximize their potential in a global society. Good morning, scholars. This is Ms. Rogers, your career tech instructor. Please breathe the Hudson Bulldog plea with me. I am a Hudson Bulldog. I will be prepared for class and ready to learn each day. Understand that I must treat others the way I desire to be treated. Learn to follow directions and cooperate with others. Learn to always do my best. Dare to dream. Honor to my responsibilities. Give respect to people, especially myself and property, because success starts with me. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like it scarred me. I, I had issues with that, and I'm like, yo, we're, like, like, what's wrong with me? For you don't want to be here. So I felt like I'm gonna be honest with you. I felt like I was a mistake. I wasn't valuing education. You know what I'm saying? Like I value the streets. I value being class clown. I value women. I wasn't valuing like school. I wasn't trying to be no scholar. I was trying to get money. I was trying to kick it. I was trying to get a few laughs. Life spiraling out of control. Got to a point I said, you know what, I gotta grow up. I need to grow up because I'm on some little boy stuff. I should be making my mom proud. I should be making her smile. I should be giving her joy as opposed to giving her pain, giving her a hard time. When I was like, yo, whatever I gotta do on character, I ain't blaming nobody else. Listen to me, I took back my power. For years I was blaming folks. But if he was in my life, if this teacher would give me a hard time, they always on my back, it was his fault. I, I stopped blaming people. Because when you blame people, you give them your power. I took my power back. I took complete ownership. I said, no, this is all on me. I made the mistake. I'll make the adjustments. It's all on me. I promise you a shift started taking place, right? And so I end up, it's the craziest thing. I end up catching back. I end up catching up with my right grade. I had to take summer school. I had to do like night courses. So when all my other friends was kicking it, that was hard. I was like, yo, I want to go kick it. But let me, let me make the main thing the main thing, because I'm tired to see my mama cry. Like, I'm tired of living here. Like, I want better. I want more for my life. So I recognize I got to make some adjustments. I start making the adjustments. So I was just like, yo, everybody who talked negative about me, I'm about to show them they was wrong about me. And everybody who believed in me, I'm about to prove them right. And I'm about to have my mom cry for the rest of her life. She's so doggone proud of me. So did high school, boom. Did college. I said, shoot, if I can do college, maybe I can get my master's. I'm like, why not? Why not push the limit? Why not be a next level student? Why not try to get the absolute best out of me I can get? So I said, well, shoot, I'm going ahead, go ahead and uh, I'm gonna do grad school. Went to grad school, got the master's. Now I'm like, shoot, if I had to get my master's, I had to write a whole bunch of books, uh, papers, and read a whole bunch of books. I'm like, well, shoot, maybe I could write a book. But my first book in 2010, I've been writing a book every year. I just finished my seventh book called Next Level Teaching. I never thought I'd be traveling the country. I never thought I'd be traveling the world. So I want to challenge y'all real quick. Like, ask yourself right now, all eyes on me. Like, ask yourself, what kind of life you want? The following scholar has a birthday on today, Antoria Lee. The following scholars will also be celebrating their birthdays this weekend. Gabriel Simmons, Ayanna James, and Soraya Shelton. Happy birthday, scholars! The character message for this week for 7th grade is to be focused. Being focused will help you achieve your goal. For 8th grade, the character message is be priority conscious. Put first things first. Good morning, scholars. This is Mr. Amos with your social emotional skill for this week. We will focus on self-control. Watch your thoughts. They become words. Watch your words. They become actions. Watch your actions. They become habits. 
We'll also revisit coping skills. Learn how to respond in a time of crisis. Identify stressors and triggers in the environment. Good morning, scholars and world changers. This is Mrs. George Williams reminding you all about our You've Been Book Challenge for the month of January. Scholars, don't forget to log on to my own and read those stories and take an AR test on AR. Happy reading, scholars. All right, scholars. And I know you guys are going to do your very best. We're always feeding for excellence at R.B. Hudson in Academy. Show some bulldog pride on the already assessment. Show up all the time, every day, from 9 to 2, with cameras on. And all week this week, we're going to complete our already assessments. Scholars, show us what you got. Show that bulldog pride. We're steaming for excellence at R.B. Hudson STEAM Academy. And I know you guys can do it. Good morning. Scholars and world changers, this is Mrs. Parker with some test taking tips. First, take your time and do not rush. Read each question and ask your choice carefully. If you get a question you have not learned yet, try your best. For math, show your work on paper for every problem. For reading, read each passage carefully and reread the passage when necessary. And last but not least, check your work before going to the next question. This is Mrs. Parker with some test taking strategies. Good luck! Progress reports will be issued on Tuesday, February 2nd. Scholars, always remember to take the world by storm. Success takes order, organization, respect, responsibility, and motivation. Please join us moment of silence.